Hello and welcome to the channel. So today we have another video taking on the license tests in GT7. So if you don't know who I am, I am I'm a content creator on, here on YouTube. I make videos on Gran Turismo, iRacing and a few other racing games as well as content in the real world. Uh, I stream Gran Turismo most Friday nights so if you want to check that out, check that out. And today we're going to go through the license tests of National A. So if you are stuck on any of those tests, this is the place to go. Now we will be doing everything on the dual sense controller. Yes, I know I'm in front of the steering wheel, but we won't be using that because that does make some of the tests a little bit easier. But everybody's going to have a dual sense controller. Not everybody's going to have a steering wheel. So sit back, enjoy. If you're struggling, this is the place to be. Let's get to it. So for National A, first test, we've got Coke Lopez and we're in the Subaru BRZ. Round to scuba, long final corner. So Subaru BRZ, 200 horsepower, rear wheel drive, can be quite slidey. So final corner of Tsukuba, and I go up to fourth, using the manual gearbox and then brake, just a dab of brakes, floater in, just keep it nice and smooth, there's power on the power, don't use all that kerb, it will fail you, and that's gold. So A2, we're here in the Scirocco at Dragon Trail Gardens. So this is front wheel drive, it's gonna all be about the traction. So in the Scirocco R, front wheel drive, it's gonna all be about the braking acceleration here. So up to fifth, and then we're gonna brake at 75. Down two gears, come off the power, just float it in. Just remember, if you get on the power too much, you will get understeer. Rev it all the way out, accelerate to the line, and that's gold. So A3, we're in the Arbar 500, so again front wheel drive, turbocharged, small little car. Right, a bath time, let's see how we get on. So accelerating towards Lesmo 1, gonna just lift off, keep it in third, and then power on, up to fourth, and we're gonna break around about the 50 meter mark, down one gear, float her in, Back on the power, use all the kerb, accelerate to the line, no need to change the gear up at the end. And that's gold. So now to A4, and we're in the Honda Civic EK, round Tokyo. So VTEC is engaged, so gonna rinse the neck of this EK Civic up to fourth. Gonna stay on the left for this corner here, breaking at that orange sign, down a little bit, get it nice and close to the wall there, and then back on the power. Right, stay to the left, open up the corner as much as possible. Down the hill, now there is a left corner in here. You can just sit by that signpost, but not much else. And that's gold.
So A5, we're here in the wet at Spa. So let's get to it. Nissan 180SX in the rain at Spa. So accelerate down the main Kemmel straight up to Lacan. Now remember it's wet weather, so there's gonna be less grip. You're gonna feel like you're braking too much. It's probably not enough. Brake at the 100 meter board, all the way down to second. Hard braking and then just coaster in. You can see my acceleration traces, nice and smooth. Don't need to get on the power too much. And then as the corner straightens up, now you can go full power. Third, and that's gold. Right, A6, and we're up to Alfa Romeo 4C at Monza, a Scottish cane. So, although this car is a little car, it's a mid-engine car. So, remember, if you get it wrong, it's going to try and bite you. So, accelerating, braking around about the 80 meter mark. Down one gear, come off the brakes, get turned in. Now, just be careful, you can lose traction over those bumps. And up to fourth, and then accelerate towards the line. And that's gold. A7, we're back to Catalonia and the E46 M3. So E46 M3 here at Catalonia. So accelerate down towards the first corner and breaking out this little entry road here. Actually going to keep it in third. Roll it in. Just try and keep up minimum speed. Use a bit of power now. Come off the power round here because it's a long corner. We don't want the rear to overtake us. And then slowly apply the power as the cut corner starts to open up. Up to fourth. And that's gold. So we're on to A8 now, and this is our first test of dirt driving. So Toyota Tundra, this is a big chungus. It's sometimes a bit tricky to see over the top, so change it up almost immediately as soon as we take control. Cut the corner as much as possible on the right hand side there. And then this one here, we want to aim for the grass. Just come off the power and allow the hill to slow us down. You don't need to use the brakes. And then cut the corner here, get close to those signs as possible and aim for the exit and that's gold So we're here at A9 now and we're in the iconic Honda NSX at Suzuka, where else? So although the Honda NSX doesn't have a lot of power, it is mid-engine so we do have to be a little bit careful with weight transfer. So accelerate towards the hairpin, up to fourth, try and stay as much to the right and as soon as the kerb is finished, on the brakes, down to second, keep it nice and tight, 
and then slowly apply the throttle. Scrabble for a bit of grip there, up to third, head for the line, and that's gold. So here we are at the end of the National A license on A10 and we are in a Toyota Supra. So we've got a few corners to do here at Autopolis. So let's try and get it done in gold time. Right, so this is a Supra, as the meme goes. Right, up to fourth pretty much straight away, accelerating down and breaking out that, that little inroad that's on the left. Down to third, nice and smooth. A little bit of dab of break, so we just set up for this hairpin that's coming up here. So we want to try and stay as much to the left as possible. We'll take it down to second with a bit of break. And then slowly apply the power and accelerate out. Head for the line, line and least resistance. And that's gold. And that's the national A license done. Let's check out what cars we've won. So for completing the license, we got a Scirocco R, one of the cars that we used in the test, front wheel drive hot hatch. Now for all gold, we get in Subaru BRZ, nice, fun little car to use, hopefully help, helpful in the single player. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you are struggling with any of the license tests, we are doing them here, all on the DualShock controller. Uh, so, or DualSense on the PS5. Um, so if you did like it, give it a thumbs up. There will be more coming soon. And until then, goodbye.